Well hey and welcome to another Ice Age 2 video. Look what we've got today. Oh yes. <laughs> it's the Lego Creator Horizon Express. Or TGV as it's also known. I mean look at it. It's very clearly the French TGV train. It's iconic. It's famous. It's just as famous as you know the American Big Boy or the British HST or even the Japanese Bullet Train. It's an iconic train, really is, a real class icon. And it's the TGV, which is French. Um, it's a train à grande vitesse, I think, which is basically French for high-speed train. So there we go, it's a HST, but a French one. <laughs> and um, I do have uh, a photo, I think, of it somewhere. I've got this locomotives book that I was bought um, some years ago. And in here we have the TGV. There we go. There you go. You can see TGV. Um, wrong colour scheme. Well, it's it's the different colour scheme. I do have um, an image of the exact one, the one I'm on about. Um, if you just bear with, bear with, bear with. Oh, you can get a nice shot of. Uh, gosh, look. You see. You can see me there. Um, where are we? Right. Um, here we. go. Go, yes, it'll be in here. Resources. There. Look, see, that's the one I'm on about. Yes. You can clearly see the uh, resemblance between the two. I mean, look, they've even got the white stripe and the black down the side. Look at that. I mean, just look at it. It is so the TGV. I think that's where it should have really said TGV, but they didn't or couldn't for various licensing reasons or whatever, I'm not too sure. But as you can see on the on the proper thing here, it says TGV. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's un I mean, even like the grey at the bottom there, it is undoubtedly the French TGV. A train I absolutely loved when I was little. I totally and utterly fell in love with this. Um, so there we go. That is the TGV. And it's by Lego, it's creator, it's expert level. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, all Lego is pretty easy to me. I don't. I, I guess maybe it's because there's just so many parts in here, and they're just trying to put off, you know, little kids that are two or three years old, and probably, well, probably, almost definitely won't be able to build something this complex. But I'm sure anyone over the age of eight or nine or whatever should have no problem. Um, you get some people with it. Uh, six. Just various sorts of passengers. Obviously one of them is going to be, I think it's him, he's going to be the driver, I, I assume. Or it could be her? Oh no, I think, yeah, that's right. I think he looks like he's some sort of, um, some sort of guard. And the driver is a, is a very nice looking woman with lipstick on. Lovely. So age is 14 plus, it says there, but as I say, I, I'm pretty sure that if you're a competent 9 or 10 year old, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this. Maybe you might need a little bit of help, but it's not too complicated. It is Lego, after all. If we just ooh, whiz the box over onto the other side. Um, oh, I love, I love it when they do this. <laughs> you can really see inside. Look at that. How cool is this? Oh my gosh. Look, you can see little spaces for the suitcases. Oh, look, there's even a buffet service. Um, just look how big it is as well compared to the Lego people. Really, really grand. And you can even fit working lights and motors to it. Wow, I think we'll definitely have to do that. Um, and what I love is that you can easily access all the people once it's built. I mean, just look how easily the roof comes off on each section and, and each coach. It's brilliant. And look, there's the uh, the driving console there for the, the lady driver. Um, you could swap the lady for a guy. You could even put in a troll from Lego Castle if you wanted. I mean, it's Lego. You know, do what you want. But this, this is what I really wanted to talk about. Look at that. Uh, 10233 is the set number. As you can see there, 10233. Times two means two of them. So if you get two of them, you can put them back to back and make a proper, really, really long TGV train in Lego. Now, wouldn't that be cool? You've got to admit, that would be absolutely amazing. Well, it's just as well I got two then. 
Ta -da! There we go. Oh yes. It's real. We've got another one to go with this one. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do just that. I even have all the lights and motor functions and stuff, but they are reserved for another locomotive, which you'll see in a, you'll see in a different video. I don't know whether that video will go up before this one or after this one, but I'll put the link in the description anyway. So I'm definitely gonna have to get some additional motor accessories and lights and stuff to make it to make this one cool or to make the other one cool, you know, depending on what I do. So yes, I have two of them, as everybody I think should. Um, I think that's very, very clever of Lego. Very good business strategy there. Very, um, very, very sneaky, very cheeky. But it works because you just, you just got to do it, haven't you? You've just got to do it. So there we have two of the Lego Creator Horizon Express, aka TGV, train sets. There's no track, but if I just pan the camera up, oh, nice and slowly, you can see. Oh, there's that other locomotive I was on about. You can see that there's a complete Lego loop going all the way around this conservatory anyway. So I don't need to worry about the track. And it's dead, dead easy to buy track. Um, they even do flexi track, as you can see in the bags just over there. So it's dead, dead easy to buy Lego track these days. You can buy boxes and boxes of it, and it's not too expensive. Ugh. Which is really, really handy. And I would recommend you to I would recommend you at least buy a box or two so that you've got some track to put it on because it does look cool when it's finished. I've seen the videos, I've seen the photos, but finally I'm doing it for myself. So because I have two of these boxes, I'm not going to um, film me building all of them because that, that would just be silly. There's no need to do that. What I will do is you'll see me open this box and you'll watch me build this one but I'll do the other one in my own time. I'll do that, you know, in the living room, having a drink, watching something on telly or whatever, and <laughs> I won't do that one in front of the camera. Um, I'll build that off camera, and you'll see me build this one. And then once they're both built, which might take a day or two, I don't know, <laughs> um, you'll see me hook them up together, put them on the track, and we'll give them a run. How about that? Does that sound good? Does that sound pretty good? Right. Okay, it's time to do some um, some changeover then, some, some, some fancy camera switching. I'm going to have to set the tripod up somewhere else so that you can see me open this and then start to... Oh, yes! Start to arrange the pieces. I love that bit. I love organising all the little pieces because I've got massive, massive OCD and I love tidying it all up and then building. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm grinning like a seven-year-old at Christmas. Okay, um, see you in a second then. Well, hey, um, welcome back. It's me, um, but from the other side of the camera this time. I've spun it round, spun the screen round so that you get a good view of what I'm doing. And look, I'm even in IC82 trainers. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I'm all good to go. And let's get this baby open. Now, there's, there's usually like really nice little um, clips to help you. No, no, there's no, there's nothing where you have to push your thumb in. I'm gonna need a, some scissors or a knife. Oh, there we go. I see them. Here we go. Oh yes. Right. So let's just get rid of that first. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Be careful, obviously, if you're only a little kid. Right. Now how is this going to... I only needed to do one side, didn't I? Oh well, never mind. Right, so let's just open up the end and see what we've got. Whoa! <laughs> this is going to take ages. Does anyone want to come round and help me do this? We, we, can, we can order pizza. Um, <laughs> Okay, well that, that's nice though, that's a good step. Look, see, they've numbered all the bags. So we've got number one, number three, another number one, okay. And another number one, right. And number two, and number one. Okay, so obviously, it's not that Lego can't count. It's that it's in stages, so you have to do all the ones first, I suppose, and then, then all the twos. 
Um, oh, they look like some fancy bits. They've, there's no number on them. We'll put those over here. Oh, look at those. They look like chassis to me. Yeah, I'm almost certain of it. That'll be the bottom of a coach, bottom of a coach, and bottom of a, a traction unit, a, a, the actual engine. Another number three. Another number three. And number two. A huge number one. And another number one. Right, and what have we got in here then? Let's have a look at this. Okay. Oh, wow, stickers as well. <laughs> I used to get so nervous when I was little um, and I was doing the stickers. And my dad had to do them for me actually because I, I, I used to get nervous and I was scared I was going to make such a mess of them. So I always always gave them to my dad. But I'm, I'm big enough to do them myself now. I don't need to get dad round here. <laughs> okay, so we've got some stickers there which is lovely. And then, oh my gosh, how many instructions? Three, three booklets. One, two, three. And some cards. Wow, look at that. To even keep it all straight. To keep it all nice and flat and look after it. They even throw in a piece of card. And, you know, being a model railwayer, being a model railway enthusiast, I'm pretty sure I can make good use of this card. You know, you could cut it out and make it into the mouth of a tunnel, or you could fold it up and make it into a house or something. Yeah, but this isn't the Blue Peter episode, so we'll do that another time. Um, for everybody watching abroad, Blue Peter is a British show. It's quite iconic. Look it up. Right. So, one, two, three. Um, I, I don't think we're going to need these just yet. I'm going to have to organise all the bits first. But just glancing through them, everything looks really, really straightforward. Really nice big clear steps, really clear stages, which is why I'm pretty confident the average nine or ten year old could do this. There's no need for you to be... 14 or over and it even tells you how many parts and what types of part you need for each stage I mean they never used to do that when I was little you know in the growing up in the 80s we were hardcore <laughs> you just had to look you had to study the picture and look for where things had changed Lego building a Lego model was basically one gigantic spot the difference puzzle basically and now they've just made it so much easier <sighs> kids today they don't know they're born Anyway, before I sound like I'm 90, I need to get all these parts organised, don't I? And I'm not going to bore you to absolute rigid death as I do that, even though I will enjoy it. I'm going to have a play with the camera and set it onto like some special uh, time-lapse mode where it's going to take a photo every second or every two seconds or something. And then I can put all those together and you'll see me organise everything really quickly. And if you're lucky, I might even put some fancy music over the back of it. <laughs> see you in a bit. As you can see, I've had a change of clothes, it's a different day, um, in fact it's a couple of days later. Um, I've been really busy meeting up with mates and getting stuff done that I have to get done. Um, replying to your emails and your comments and things like that, that, that takes quite a bit of time now. So I'm here, um, it's a really really hot day, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to, to cope in this conservatory getting it all done. But I promise I'm not going to strip or anything like that. I'm just going to 
crack on with it and get it built. So we're going to speed up the footage again and I'm going to um, put some music on for myself, for my own entertainment and get this built. It occurred to me that the reason we have three booklets and the reason you have lots of bags with one on and lots of bags with two on and lots of bags with three on is because obviously you build the main unit first and then you build one of the coaches and then you build the other coach and you know that's that makes sense <laughs> that that totally makes sense and that's absolutely fine so it was just me being uh, a little bit um, unintelligent I think so Yes, let's open it up then, and yeah, see, there you go, you can clearly see, just there, uh, apologies for just how sunny it is, <laughs> I can't believe how hot it is, I wish I was on the beach, oh, I really do, but see, I'm here, devotion, getting this done for you, and yes, it is, it's a female driver, hmm, okay, that's nice, right, so, I'm going to go put some music on, speed up the footage, and get this first unit built. Okay, let's just get the other box out of shot and oh great, there seems to be some magpie interrupting me. So we'll take care of that. Right, well, it's done. There she is. Um, all we need to do is put the driver in. So we just fold her legs up. <laughs> it's not often something I say. There we go. Just chuck, chuck her in. Whack the lid on. Job done, look at that, brilliant. We have got a few spares um, just here, not many as you can see, which is really good. So basically they're just, like all the tiny ones, they've just given you a spare of all the really tiny ones, the ones you're likely to lose. Um, I must admit it was, it was quite fiddly. Um, it was significantly more fiddly than I thought it would be. Uh, this bit here, where you've got like the stripes, that's all little pieces that all has to be built. I just thought it would be a sticker or something. But oh no no no. No, you actually have to um clip them all into like uh, some some railings behind there. But what I really do like is this feature if I just show you here where you take off the lid like that and then you can take out what I presume is the engine, the generator or something. Um I'm pretty sure that is <laughs> uh something to do with the generator. And then inside there, you can see that there's plenty of space. So there's enough space for you to fit a motor, a proper motor. And the wheels do indeed have grips on them. So it's definitely all geared up, ready to take a proper motor, which is really nice. So I'm just going to drop that back in there now, the dummy one that is, and then pop the roof back on. It goes the other way, I think. Uh, nope. Nope, it goes that way. Yes, there we go. So that just clips back into place. And as I say, it's really easy to get to the cab. It's got some beautiful detail on the side. 
which you can see. And the bit underneath is so clever. I mean, this bit basically just slides on. Uh, I'm not going to take it off now because I've, I've done a nice job of it. But this whole bottom bit just basically slides on, which is really clever. As is this bit here, which basically just folds to the angle, that, you know, to the desired angle, the angle you want. Really, really nice. And the pantographs, oh, well, look, they are just fantastic. You can get them just how, just however you want them. And you can indeed leave one folded down like that, as would be quite prototypical, uh, with just one sticking up, collecting the current. Really, really nice, really nice model. Um, I do understand why the box says expert now, because it is quite tough to build. Um, so I'm going to take a photo of it, put it on Facebook for my mates to see, and then we'll start on the coaches. Um, yes, it's another day. <laughs> It's a big train, it's a big project. Another day has passed and here we have the, um, the second coach. Uh, basically the second unit, or the first coach technically. Um, well, it depends. Yeah, yeah, well it is the first coach because I don't think anybody sits in the main driving unit apart from the driver. So, here we have coach number one, or the second unit being built and I just need these instructions here. So this, this is number two. This is what we're going to be working on today. And as you can see, just there, it's basically the first proper coach. And it looks like it very cleverly shares a bogey with the, um, the other one, which is quite cool. So there's a couple of people to build this time, as well as, as, well as their suitcases, I think. Um, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It shouldn't be too hard, shouldn't take too long to do. I've laid all the parts out already because there is no need for you to watch me do all that again. Um, so again I'm going to speed the footage up and, and get it built. Enjoy! I just had to um, stop the video for a sec because, as you can see, I'm building this coach and just look at this. You've got a slidey toilet door. <laughs> How awesome is that? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. You've actually got a little door that slides so that people can get in and out and relieve themselves. Wow, that's a first. I've never built, I've never built a, a sliding toilet door before. Ever. That's that's quite cool. <laughs> right, I'll carry on then. Oh yeah, I wanted to just quickly show you the. Um, sorry, I've got a fruit tree in my mouth. Um, I wanted to show you the windows. Very very fiddly, but very very cool. Basically loads and loads of little windows and even tinier little bits of Lego to connect them all together but they very very cleverly um, put them in and it looks really good. It's a very nice way of doing it, I would never have thought of doing it that way, you know making what essentially are vertical windows lie down. It's very very cool um, and look, a little TV on the back there for the people to uh, watch the TV on. So it's coming on really well, I'm really impressed. Um, if I just get rid of this suite, <laughs> then I can carry on. Right, so it's about an hour later, and it's finished. There is one of the coaches, as you can just see there. Sorry that it doesn't look incredible on camera because it's mostly orange and I'm in an orange room. <laughs> um, 
well, that's the lighting. It's, it's actually gone dark outside now. Um, but I'm going to go grab some dinner and something to drink and then lay out all the parts for Coach 2, Unit 3. <laughs> and actually days later it is finished well half of it I mean all of it but half of it this is one complete set of the Horizon Express the pst, TGV Ooh. so as you can see it's pretty cool it's very authentic um, oh, those magnets aren't very strong <laughs> those magnets aren't very strong at all hmm Anyway, okay, what's really quite cool is that you've got these two units here that share a bogey. That's very realistic, I really do like that. Um, you've got a magnet on the rear end there, ready to couple up to another set of them, which is pretty good. And then the actual power unit is really big and really heavy and looks the part. It really does look very cool indeed. Um, just a bit unsure about the strength of that magnet on the back there. I mean, it's fine for pulling those two, but when we've got the whole thing rigged up, um, you know, all six units, I don't know if it will be strong enough. So we might have to... Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put a motor in the other end as well, aren't I? I'm going to have to have two motors working together to move this gigantic heavy drain. Um, so it should be okay. If you've got one pulling and one pushing, should be alright. Okay, I'm gonna have to <laughs> cut the camera again, I'm afraid, and go and build another one. A whole other set. And then put this onto the back, like this. And then we can put it on the track and see how nice it is on the Lego track. I will fit the uh, motors and stuff to it in a separate video, I think, because it, this one's gone on long enough. <laughs> so, um, I better get cracking on this second set then. <laughs> well, there she is. <laughs> it's been days later. Well, actually, it's been weeks. I've just had so many other things to do and so many other videos to make that it's taken me weeks to build this this TGV, this Horizon Express and I have moved, as you can see, I've moved the Lego track in this conservatory around so that you can get a really good view of her because I think this particular shot is incredible you've basically just got her parked up there in this tiny little station which was huge <laughs> until I got the, um, the TGV I keep calling it the TGV because it is essentially the TGV, it is the French TGV from the 80s, I think. Um, hence the orange and black uh, logo, you know, uh, colour scheme, yeah. So, there she is. I mean, just look at that. You've got to admit, that is incredible. Um, there's a few things worthy of mentioning. Um, if I just, if I just grab one of these coaches, you'll see that the uh, centre bogey there is shared, so you can't actually pick these up individually, you have to uh, pick them up at the same time. And if I just split the train into its components, its component parts, just like that, then you can see that it's basically an end, and then two shared, well, two coaches sharing a bogey, 
and then again at the other end, the same thing, because we've got two sets, remember? So, um, yeah, basically the roofs, the roofs of these units are very fragile, they're very delicate indeed. Um, they ask you to put all the yellow blocks, uh, sorry, orange, they ask you to put these orange blocks on, and then the roof, but I found it much easier and much more structurally sound to just leave the orange blocks off and then when you build the roof you attach the orange blocks to the underside of the roof and then put the whole thing on and that kind of works because look there we go so that's what I mean you, you, all this orange stuff you put onto the roof underneath it you know as you're building the roof uh, section and then that's inside one of the coaches, so you've got a little toilet here with a sliding door, which is pretty cool. And then in this unit, ah, there we go. So both roofs are off. Is it roofs? Roofs? Oh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> this is particularly awesome. You've got a little barman there and a bottle of wine and some, like a decanter, maybe full of whiskey or something. And then a coffee machine. <laughs> Well, I think it's coffee. Who knows? It could be um, a Mr. Slushy or a Tassimo. Uh, I mean, other th other drink makes are available. You know, other machines are available, and and then some people enjoying a nice drink, uh, along with the engineer in the background on the platform. He's enjoying a drink as well. So it's really quite awesome. Um, the windows are really delicate, though. They um, they move about quite easily, especially when you're putting the roof on and off. So when you're building it, you've got to be uh, particularly careful. But, as you can see, it's not bad. It goes on nice and easily. Um, the doors shut with plenty of clearance. And then you just slam everything up. And she's good to go. Look at that. <laughs> and I even love the little uh, pantographs. Because, depending on which direction she's going, you can lower these. Just like that and then lift the ones on the other side up, like that. Very cool. I don't know what's prototypical, and I don't even know, understand why there's two. Unless, of course, it's because... Um, it, it could be redundancy. It could be in case one fails, it's still got the ability to pick up electricity. Um, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's one incredible model, and I definitely recommend getting two sets. I mean, just look at that. And the whole thing moves so nicely as well, watch. Gosh, you can feel the weight in it. Um, it's obvious what I've got to do next, isn't it? It's absolutely obvious. I've got to fit it with a motor and lights and whatever else is available, basically. Um, I'm going to need, because I've bought two sets, I'm going to need two lots of motor. So we're going to put a motor into this unit and a motor into the far one down there. Switch them both on at the same time. And that should be powerful enough to haul this massive train around the Lego track because the Lego loop does feature little bits of flexi and generally the flexi track can be a little bit of a nuisance um, depending on the train you type the, the, and depending on the train that you're running they can struggle with the flexi track sometimes so we're definitely going to need two motors um, powering this beast and talking of motors um, here's another train the uh, Emerald Knight, which I have got a video uh, coming up on, and um, this this is gorgeous. Just look at this. It's, it reminds me of the um, it reminds me of the locomotive from the Polar Express, the film The Polar Express, with Tom Hanks, the animated film. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? And this is one particular. What was that noise? Did you hear that? No, oh, never mind. Um, this is one particular locomotive by Lego that, you, again, you can fit. You can fit with a motor, you can power it, and I think that's something definitely... What's that noise again? What's that noise? What? Oh no! 